If you still breathing and walking on this earth to you today, that is God's proof to you that you still have more life to attain. You still have more presence to give out there in this world. A whole lot of situation turned me to a monster. I had to sit and be patient, but I remain humble. I always knew that I would make it. I'm street smart, plus I'm educated. I work hard, plus I never had Point to you tonight, your 19th 50-point game, most among NBA active players. How would you describe how you become one of the most prolific scorers in the game right now? Work. Every single day, it's, it's, I fall in love with it. I fell in love with just working hard and, 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 and mastering the game and trying to be the best person I can be while I'm playing at a high level. So, uh, and the work don't stop. You know, you can't expect to be great if you don't put the work in. You know, so it's, it's an everyday process. And uh, you know, when things are going bad, like when I was shooting the ball bad, I'm still shooting the ball bad, but I was in the gym still. You know, so you, you might do everything right and, and the end of results just don't work out your way. You gotta keep pushing. Look, do me a favor. Do not look at this jersey and think that, you know, this is a video about Hardy. Program your mind to tell you that, you know, the video is about the press. Uh, the reporter, Ask Harden, you know, what's the main reason for him being such a dominant scorer? And if any of y'all know basketball, you know that Harden is arguably one of the top two scorers in the league. And um, his answer was simple. You know, he said, work. And um, the reason why we love sports because we can tie so many principles and aspects that athletes live by into our everyday lives. For example, we got people out here in this life and got people out here in this world that's complaining about, you know, certain situations, certain circumstances, my bad. And they're not willing to put the work in to get themselves out of them circumstances. Um, I listen to a lot of student athletes talk. I listen to a lot of students talk. I listen to a lot of people in the workforce talk. And people complain about their circumstances, but they're not willing to put the work in to change their circumstances. Um, you know, you got people that, you know, say that they, you know, want to go. You got students that say they want to go to college, but, you know, they're showing up to class late. They're not coming to class. They're not coming to school. They're skipping class. They're being disrespectful in class. They're not being attentive in class. Um, you got people in the job force that say that, you know, they complain about not having money. They complain about, you know what I'm saying, not getting enough days on their on they, on they schedule, not getting enough shifts. But when you come to work, you're not actually working. Or when you got shifts, you call or not, you're trying to give your shifts up. You're not trying to actually come and put the work in for the things that you say that you want and the things that you say that you don't have. You know, people not willing to put that work in for it. And I love sports because them athletes, you know, in the league, and I'm, you know, I'm a previous athlete. The athletes in the league, like, they didn't just wake up one day and, and roll over to becoming, you know, athletes. LeBron ain't wake up and become LeBron. Harden ain't wake up and become Harden. Curry, any athlete you name, you know, and not just basketball. Any athlete you name, any athlete you study, any person, successful person that you study didn't just wake up and, and, and just get the success. They had to work. They had to go through a lot of stuff, a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations to get to who they are today. And I'm telling whoever decides to look at this video, you can have whatever it is that you want out of your life. If you are willing to put the work in for it and you're willing to take the, the, the pain and, and the sacrifices that come with the things that you say that you want out of your life.